Hello everyone, my name is Paul McWilliams. I'm an environment and lighting artist and 3D instructor with a background in visual effects dating back to 2005. I've worked in production at companies such as Double Negative, Moving Picture Company and Mars VFX. I've worked in VFX training at Technicolor Academy, the National Film and Television School and CG workshops. I'm a qualified teacher from the Institute of Education in London. Visual Effects Set Extensions provides an in-depth look at the VFX production process for creating set extensions used in film and television. You're going to be working from footage shot on location at an abandoned power station. This is an interesting location that will provide real-life technical challenges. Week 1 – Image Modeling and Layout In Maya, we'll cover working with a match move camera and point cloud for layout, camera lineups and image modeling, efficient modeling methods, and working to a level of detail. You'll select parts of the real set to model and present your layout for dailies. Week 2 – Modeling Details and Final Layout You will learn about up model details, use camera projections to assist with adding detail, and work adding new camera angles to assist with modeling. Make an asset modeling workflow and look at why we use UV mapping as we go. You'll also learn about making an initial lighting setup and Arnold render settings. Your work to make a higher level of detail model and layout. Week 3 UV mapping and model subdivision setup. Hotkeys and efficient UV mapping workflow using UV toolkit. How and when to use quicker, less detail orientated UV mapping. Multiple UV UDIM layout. Subdivision surfaces setup. You'll make and present your layout for review. Week 4 Texturing with Mari. You'll be introduced to texture painting with Mari using materials and working with channels, triplanar projections, painting with images, working with paint layers, groups, masks and adjustment layers, making masks for dirt, you'll start texturing and present your work in progress textures. Week 5 Texturing and Projection Work We'll go into a more detail in Mari, use node graph workflow, bring in model updates, make brushes, add additional texture detail, use projectors, working with Photoshop and, and Mari, set up mid-ground projections, Mari material settings, making displacement and bump spec maps, you'll present your increased texture detail. Week 6, Shot Look Dev. You will learn how to set up a look dev environment and why we do it this way. Make initial lighting and render settings. Use physically based materials. Adjust render settings for quick feedback. Isolate and look development displacement, bump and spec maps. You'll make your own material and look dev setup and present renders. Week 7, VFX lighting and rendering. The VFX lighting process will be fully explained such as matching plate lighting, exposure and shadows. Color management workflow and color space LUT usage. Using and preparing HDRs, lighting with Arnold lights, render settings and optimized workflow. Render layers and rendering AOVs. You'll make and present your render as a slap card. Week 8, map painting and projection setup and render pass compositing. You'll learn about map painting fundamentals, including color, scale, perspective, and lighting. Making a background map painting and foreground patches. Set up projections in Nuke, composite and grade AOVs, and integrate projections. You'll make and present a final composite. The course will run over eight weeks. There's documentation and video instruction each week. I will answer questions and provide dedicated technical support throughout the course. You will receive video feedback on your work and there is a live Q&A every week. An important resource on the course is also the student community chat and forum where you can communicate with your peers on the course and me as well. The main value of this course is that you'll be learning a visual effects pipeline orientated approach towards making environments. If you really want to learn how all this is done with an experienced artist and teacher then this course is for you. I hope to see you there.